Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to calculate yield to call. You need to remember that some bonds have a call provision that allow the issuers to repay the bondholders par value prior to its scheduled maturity. And what happens is issuers commonly pay bondholders the bonds par value plus one year of interest payments. So we have a 6.35% coupon bond with 27 years left to maturity, but it can be called in eight years. And the call premium is one year of coupon payments, currently offered for sale at $1,095.75, which tells us it's selling at a premium, so we need to get our values for our calculator. So we assume semi-annual payments. We base this off of the call, so that's going to be 16 payments. We're going to compute the IY. Our present value is simply what it's currently offered for sale at. And don't forget to put that in as a negative in your calculator, or you'll get this awful error 5. Right? And now we need our payments. So that's our coupon rate. Right? So we take our $1,000 coupon rate times or our coupon rate of 6.35 times our par value gives us an annual payment of 63.50. Right, but all of this is based off of semi-annual, so it gives us semi-annual payments of 31.75. And now this is where this differs from some of your other bond questions. Right? Normally, you just put your thousand dollars there for your future value, but in this case. They're going to get the par value plus that one year of coupon payments as a call premium. So we have to add that year of coupon payments to come up with the future value of 1063.50. Now remember that when we calculate this IY, right, we're expressing this semi annually but yield to call is expressed as an annual rate, so we're going to multiply whatever we get by 2. So, um, let's see, we had an N of 16. Our present value was the 109575, which was the price entered as a negative. That's our present value. We figured our payments were 3175. And remember, our future value includes that one year call premium of 63.50 so that's our future value now we're going to compute our IY but remember we want it expressed as an annual rate so times 2 gives us a yield to call of 5.50 percent just round that up to two decimal places and I think that covers yield to call so as always, I hope you found this helpful, and thanks so much for watching.